Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for February 17th, 2021. Yesterday, I happened to say November. I don't know where that came from, but I apologize for that. <laughs> I hope everyone had a great evening. It was a challenging day yesterday with rolling blackouts. And we kind of had a little bit of a challenge in the market as well. We had a big substantial pop up yesterday, but it just wasn't able to really hold on with bond rates rising. This morning we have some of the same concerns. So how is that going to affect the day? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyday, everyone. Yesterday was such a challenging day. Um, I had rolling blackouts here for, for me. It affected my computer. I spent the rest of the day trying to fix my computer and had a couple more power blinks. But um, I, I was able to restore and get things back, um, back in service. But boy, yesterday is just one of those days you kind of want to forget. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart here and see what we have going on. Well, if we look at the Dow, you can see we ended up um, making a, a closing at a new record high yesterday in the Dow, despite the little bit of problem. If you guys remember, I, I suggested to be a little bit careful that possibility of a pop and drop can occur when we get those big morning gap ups and particularly when we're hitting new record highs. Well, we did pull back, but I can't really say that there was any damage here in that, but it probably did shake a little confidence in the market and certainly sucked the momentum out of that bullish move really quickly yesterday as we struggled to hold on. There was kind of an equal equal weighting in there of bulls and bears uh, throughout the day, just really choppy price action. So technically speaking, there's no damage to the chart, however. This is just more of a resting day yesterday, and you can see we set that new record high here. More of a rest. We're just kind of holding in that consolidation, and it is that possibility that we could just continue that rest and slide all the way over here to trend. Um, we had another report this morning, um, um, mortgage applications dropping rather significantly with um, rising interest rates. So a couple things popping in here that may shake the market's confidence just a little bit. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. I do, however, believe the market is going to stay pretty darn positive as Congress continues to move forward with their big, um, um, you know, uh, printing plan, um, stimulus plan for the the market. So I, I suggest, I think the market will stay relatively bullish, but we do have these concerns and these little bit of shock waves that we'll want to pay attention to. And I can't rule out the possibility of a bearish attack at any time because we are very elevated overall in the market. But right now, Technically speaking, we're holding above support, we're holding above trend. So there's really nothing in here that suggests that bearishness yet. We're just going to want to stay on our toes and be watchful for it. Remain a little bit, well, not a little bit, remain quite focused on that price action and remain flexible in your trading plans. Let's take a look at the SPY SPY, also holding up in a very bullish pattern. And once again, you know, I, I think as long as we're going to continue to print, the market can stay bullish. But there are those little bit of questions that are starting to form out there about bubbles and, and things like that, that may be giving us a little bit of pause. Now, as we look at this chart, you can see our trend is beautiful. Nothing wrong with our trend. And we are really doing nothing more than maybe just resting or consolidating in this move. And notice that we could have... Uh, another week and a half or more in that consolidation consolidating range without affecting the trend negatively. 
So keep that around in mind. Remember, markets can go three directions. They can go up, they can go down, they can go sideways. And one of the things that um, is often forgotten is the majority of price action in the market is when stocks are moving sideways. So kind of keep that in mind that we could just be slipping sideways. And I think that in itself, in and of itself, is a bullish move to kind of rest here a little bit from these really high levels where the market is trading right now. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, QQQ kind of, um, a, well, a strong, strong bullish move yesterday. Was not quite able to hold on um, yesterday to that uh, new record high, but pulled back. And, but once again, we're just largely in this consolidation move. And um, you may have seen the news. It looks like another antitrust lawsuit has been filed, filed against Apple uh, from Epic Games out of Europe. And who knows if that will... Uh, harm any of these uh, big techs. But one of the things that's kind of interesting, we are seeing quite a wave of antitrust and lawsuits and things being filed against these big techs. That could have a, a lasting effect on the market. We'll just want to, you know, pay attention to those kind of things as we progress. Um, now, up here, we're holding in a nice upside trend. Once again, we're holding above a support level. So I don't see any problem in here um, with that chart. And we could certainly continue uh, for another good week or more, just consolidate sideways. And once again, I think that would be a, uh, a bearish, uh, excuse me, a bullish thing for the market holding above that support and just resting. Now, the only major problem would occur is if we happen to start breaking down those support levels and trend. But right now, there's nothing in that chart that would suggest that. So bulls are still in control of this trend. And as long as we're going to continue to print money, I think um, bulls will remain in control of the trend. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM kind of um, drifting sideways yesterday as well in this move. Bullish trend continues to remain in effect. I still think um, so many of these charts when we look at these charts are so parabolic, just straight up that there are concerns here for that. But as long as we continue to hold support, and I think this consolidation in here remains very, very bullish um, overall. So as long as we continue to see oil sector stocks holding up, financial sector stocks holding up, IWM I think is gonna do pretty well. Um, and hold those support levels. We'll want to watch that though, just in case those bears decide to attack. Then let, and by the way, yesterday we did leave behind a little bit of a concern, uh, bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Now bearish engulfing candle means nothing unless we get follow through to that candle today. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. We're overall in a consolidation, but there are some hints out there, a little bit of trouble maybe. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now the VIX yesterday uh, popped back up just a little bit. We had that little tiny bit of fear coming in the market with uh, those rising rates, uh, rising treasury yields and we bounced around a little bit, but I don't think there was any major damage done here. If we take a look at this, it, overall, we've kind of got this price resistance level here in the chart, and we failed that, and we tried to spike back up, and notice we've been trying to spike back up above that, but so far haven't been able to breach back through. So if we can get some bullishness going here, we could see that drop down. But I gotta tell you, if, if we cannot start breaking down this support level in the chart um, on the VIX, then I do have that concern that we could start rallying back up. So um, in, in the VIX and, and seeing the market move lower. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. We really need this VIX to be calming down and dropping considering where we are in this market. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at T2122, T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And we did get a little bit of a rest um, yesterday. We initially perked up 
um, in the morning, we were all the way up into here and we saw enough selling yesterday that it brought us back down and we um, actually had a tiny little decline in that. Now, what that means is, is that opens the door. That opens the door. If we can get some bullish numbers today or something like that, we certainly have upside opportunity to perk back up, but we'll want to watch that closely because we've been elevated here for so, so long. Um, perhaps a little bit of selling or a little bit more drift to um, the downside as possible. I don't suspect, you know, that we're just going to collapse down um, ahead of, at least ahead of the, um, the big stimulus bill. But if we see those bonds continuing to rise, if we get that inclination that the FOMC may be losing control of um, that, that bond situation, then um, we can have a little bit of fear built into the market. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a few things that we'll wanna pay attention to. It's a busy day on that economic calendar. Now, I've mentioned already this morning, and I apologize picking up these extra windows, um, um, th that economic calendar, we, we already had the mortgage applications and we saw a substantial decline. In fact, um, probably the fastest decline we've seen in a while on those applications. And that's just because we're seeing those interest rates starting to creep back up. So watch that carefully. But the big numbers coming out today, uh, before the bell, we're going to get PPI and we're going to get retail sales. Now, the news has been trying to promote that we could see a, a build in retail sales and consensus is suggesting we see a little bit of increase in retail sales due to the last stimulus bill that was put out there, people spending that money back into the economy. So watch those. This will be kind of critical on the day. These are both really heavy hitter reports and those kind of reports that can move the market a lot. Should we happen to get a surprise increase in retail sales, that could certainly inspire those bulls to push higher. If that expectation of um, retail sales increase is missed, that could be a problem for the market. So we're going to know that before the bell uh, today. So uh, prepare for just about anything at the market open. Keep in mind, we still, um, the rest of the day, we have a busy day. We have industrial production. We've got business inventories, housing market index. And then at 2 p.m., we got the FOMC minutes. Now, it's not uncommon for the market to just kind of stall and drag around, uh, drag its feet as we wait for the FOMC minutes. The only thing is, I don't think we're going to learn anything more from these minutes. We know that the Fed is very accommodative and doesn't intend to change um, that, but I would be surprised if we learn anything more in those minutes. But it is um, still one of the market uh big market news events and we tend to just kind of hesitate and wait for those reports to come out. Also keep in mind we have um, Fed speakers throughout the day. Um, I doubt we learn anything more from that but we'll want to pay attention to it and remember as you're planning your risk forward into Thursday keep in mind we have a busy morning tomorrow. Housing starts and permits, jobless claims and the Philly Fed manufacturing index all of those are market moving events tomorrow morning before the bell. So kind of prepare a little bit and think about um, your risk as we move forward. Then let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is relatively busy today with nearly a hundred companies, whoops, hundred companies reporting. And we'll want to um, kind of take a look at some of these stocks that could be moving things around. Um, we're going to get news today from shop shopify will be reporting today so kind of keep an eye on that notice that shopify has surged dramatically heading toward this earnings report um, it looks like everyone is expecting this to be very very strong um, watch that closely we've rested the last few days in here waiting for that earnings report so keep an eye on that when that reports could be a um, you know market moving number we're going to hear from baidu Baidu has been um, very, very strong in this market. I mean, just unbelievably strong in this market. And we're surging toward these earnings uh, um, 
uh, here in this chart as well. So keep an eye on that. Baidu may be one of those market moving events that we'll want to pay attention to. We have a uh, little Sam Adams. Sam Adams, uh, Boston Beer, has done very, very well here recently, rallying toward its earnings report. Let's keep an eye on that. Looks like we we tried to perk up yesterday, but this morning so far, just a little bit of a hesitation in um, that chart. So keep an eye on Sam. Um, we have Cake. Oops. Cake will be reporting today. I can't really say that Cheesecake Factory is going to be a major market mover, but one we want to pay attention to and certainly something that has been an unbelievable rally here to the upside. So let's watch that closely as it reports. Let's see if some of these companies that have rallied so much, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not they can actually produce earnings enough to even they, they could be good earnings and still not be enough to um, uh, justify the current price of the chart. Um, a big um, a, a big mover um, during COVID here is Fastly. Fastly has been uh, just you know greatly benefited um, in the pandemic. And you can see this has been going through a little bit of a challenging uh, price section here, as you can see, a little bit of back and forth in that chart. Nothing terrible, nothing major, nothing um, um, damaging, but you can see in this rally, and we've kind of been chopping and um, struggling around some resistance areas in the chart. So watch that carefully as it reports today. We're also gonna hear from HLF. Um, this has been in a nice little rally, but pulling back here, just heading into that earnings report. TWLO is on the list today. That has definitely benefited during uh, coronavirus and very, very strong. Let's keep an eye on TWLO. Uh, TLRI. Uh, cannabis plays unbelievable lately. Um, cannabis has really been um, really big time moves, um, a lot of manipulation in some of this price action from the Reddit community. But let's keep an eye on this. They have been holding in very nice bullish patterns. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, by the way, if you want to get the full list of the notables, go back uh, to the morning blog, uh, click that link right underneath the, um, the, uh, title of the video. There we go. The title of the video. Click on that and that will take you back to the morning blog. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel this video was worthy, it was helpful in, um, helping you put together your day, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow. Also feel free to share these videos out on any social media platform. And by the way, right underneath that link that'll take you back to the morning blog, there's also a new link there. And uh, let me uh, tell you that we have, um, I have a lot of folks that want to support the channel, but um, aren't necessarily members of um, right way options. And, and I think, you know, that's perfectly fine. Um, everyone has to find their own place in the market. But if you want to support this channel, notice that link down there. You can click that link and buy me a coffee and that helps me continue to support this channel, uh, buy the camera equipment and things I, that I need to continue to grow the channel. So if you guys want to help support the channel, that's a simple way to do that. Just click that, buy me a coffee. Thank you guys for anyone that considers to do that. You guys are awesome. Now let's take a look at some stock setting up and I'm running long here on this video this morning. Remember that every time I post one of these stocks it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security um, you need to do your own due diligence in a trade first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mention nio now i bought nio yesterday it started to perk up we had a nice bullish candle at one point in here and a very nice little bullish pattern where we popped and pulled back and we're holding in here on this support but then yesterday's price action pulled us back and it looks like it's pulling us back again today so i'm going to 
don't want to watch that pretty closely. This one could fail on me, but we have this nice little upside trend. I'm still going to hold this and see how that see how that goes. But I don't like the fact that we popped and pulled back so hard um, yesterday. Watch that chart though; it could still be setting up um, an IO looking rather interesting. Take a look at JIMA. This is one I keep bringing up. This is a really good looking chart, holding in a beautiful upside trend. We've consolidated this move. Watch that closely. We need a little buying pressure here to get things going, but JIMA could have that opportunity to push on through. Um, APA, APA, um, anything in the oil sector has been relatively strong. And you can see APA had this really nice little pattern here. Break back through this resistance, hold it as support, bullish engulfing candle, pushing on through. And now we're up here pushing back up through this resistance high. So keep a close eye on that. Pushing through, and notice we're following through this morning. This is the pre-market candle. Following through this morning to push on through that level. Now I wouldn't suggest chasing this here, but what I would suggest is we might wanna keep an eye on some of these oil sector stocks that are doing quite well right now. And if they can rest and pull back in here, there may be an opportunity um, to re-engage that trend and move right on higher. So keep an eye on some of those oil sectors. Also keep an eye on some of these little retailers, KSS. Um, beautiful upside move here um, in this chart. And notice that after we broke through this resistance, and this is a fairly significant level in here, after breaking through that resistance, no one wants to sell it. We're just kind of drifting sideways. So look for that opportunity. If this happens to get bullish, this peak line is my alert. I'm gonna wait and see if that can pop on through. Uh, keep an eye on KSS. Um, and uh, there's quite a few of those stocks looking the same way. Um, Take a look at Etsy. Etsy, nice little upside move, broke through that resistance up here. As you can see, now we're resting. Nobody really wants to sell. Yesterday it popped through and pulled back because of that um, junkiness of the market yesterday. But this still has that opportunity, if we can catch that bullishness, to perk on out of there. So keep an eye on Etsy. You could also say the same thing for a a and F Abercrombie. Abercrombie had a, a little bit of a resting day yesterday, and it looks like Abercrombie is getting a bullish move today in that market. Abercrombie showing strength, holding um, above support, holding trend. Keep an eye on that. AEO. AEO is another one. Um, American Eagle, beautiful little consolidating move after breaking through resistance, holding in there, looking strong. That possibility that that could move higher. So a lot of those um, little retailers doing quite well um, overall. I think it would be a good idea to keep an eye here on Disney. Now we know Disney had a great earnings report, didn't get a major response out of that earnings report. Um, but let's keep an eye on this. As we have broken through this new resistance and now we're resting and pulling back in here, what I wanna do is wait for that next opportunity, that next buy signal, and that will re-engage the upside trend here in Disney. Keep an eye on that pretty interesting looking chart one to keep an eye on. I have to mention, um, now, by the way, I hold this trade and I've got a great profit in this position in TBT. Now, TBT is looking at a little tiny pullback today. This is the 20 year um, ultra short on the bonds. And if we take a look, this is a big downtrend break, um, a nice hold of support here, big strong rally. I would expect some kind of a rest or pull back in here, but let's keep an eye on this. This could be really interesting if these uh, treasuries continue to show that rally. That could have a major effect on the market. So keep an eye on that. Now I'm holding this based on this longer term chart um, with a weekly. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy with this trade right now. Beautiful upside move. Um, so a little bit of rest, um, definitely do in that chart. So don't chase it, but something that you might want to keep an eye on. Um, also, last but not least, um, 
gold is just having a tremendous, uh, just ugly, ugly time. But silver, silver is starting to show some signs of support in here. And I think it'd be a wise idea to maybe just keep an eye on this. We're going to be printing a whole bunch of money here soon. Gold could turn around and spike back up, but silver right now with the large industrial uses, the huge focus on electric vehicles, and all of the infrastructure rebuild that will have to be done if we're going to support those electric uh, vehicles, silver has some great opportunity. Silver and copper, so kind of keep an eye on those two. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Thanks for watching this morning. I truly, truly appreciate that. And I will see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.